By the way, we are entering our final half hour of the stream. This is Survival, Fountain of Youth. This game is in early access. As of April of this year, just got a massive update. If you like survival games and you are interested in trying this out, there's a link in the survival command. Big thanks to those that check it out. Thank you, thank you. And uh, yeah, dude, this game is pretty solid so far. The rain is a little bit loud. Let's, uh, let's adjust our settings. Uh, maybe effects, maybe environment. I feel like we need to turn the master up because the uh, other stuff was so quiet right now. Is that better? Now it's too quiet? It's fine. Um... So we got a survival point. So with our survival point, we can do all sorts of things. Um, resist disease, poison, thirst control. Hunger control. Better sleep. Learning. Alch alch chemistry. Let's try concentration. Not sure what that does. Let's we'll see, what, like when an animal's nearby or something. I don't know. It's weird. All right. Well, that's filling up. Let's go get some pom fronds over here. We need wide leaves. These are all narrow. <clears throat> Where are the biggins? I need the biggins, chat. The biggins. Is that off you? No. All the ones we saw are narrow leaves. I didn't see any wide leaves. I know we got some from earlier, though. Wide ones aren't from trees, they're from the, the plants. Okay. red tree hmm so the the things we need are not on the map Is this a scary game? No. This is not a scary game. It's a straight up survival game. I mean, maybe it gets a little scary later, but you know, it's, it's not, the point of it is not scary. No. 
Is this? Those look like big leaves. Cut down. Oh! I made a hat! And a skirt! I'm gonna look amazing! Okay. I'm a man in a hat. And in hats. Narrow. I'm a princess now. I am. I am. Can we tell Ko that cutting the things down won't make them respond? What? That's unfortunate. Uh, Tethra, we'll be playing more uh, hardcore World of Warcraft this evening. How much? Oh, wait, to be up. He got enough. He wants enough. Is the warlock dead? Uh, yes, the warlock is dead. All right, so let's make sure this home thing is in the right spot now. Whoa. Okay. Uh, let's see. How do I remove this thing? Let's get to the entrance of the cave and properly mark this. We also gotta, I think we dropped our torch. We gotta pick that back up. All right, here's the, the cave entrance. Let's do this first. Boom. Okay, great. Um, I need to make a much better cutter. We need to make a workbench here, too. Can I do that? Need, oh, we need a lot more sticks and stuff. Okay. No, is it going to Let's, uh, let's rest. There we go. Much better. All right, so, uh, let's make another of these for now. We're going to just destroy these, I guess. I don't know how I feel about the fact that it takes time to destroy things. I mean, it's realistic, but I don't know if that's necessary. Oh, rotten food. Interesting. Okay. That. That. Oil in 2.7 days. Well, I guess drinking half of that makes sense. Yeah. All right, we are full on goodness. Weight's a little much. We do have a massive stone, though. Let's put that in here. Some other stones in here. Oh, the container's full? Dude, I have 13 big leaves in here. Jeez. Um, doubles food prep, uh, preservation time. That's cool. So we can make like a, a little bit of a weight thing there. 
Do I have... Didn't I drop a torch somewhere? Ah. Panos. the way to get into our home. Oh man, that was like right next to where we were too. That's wild. We've been going down the beach, but we totally didn't need to. Huh, how fun. I like it. Can we make juice? Getting scurvy today, boys and girls. Woo! All right. What's this? Ooh. <clears throat> okay. So I like that if you light a torch and you take out another weapon, it keeps the torch going. Okay, I wonder if it's on his back or something. It makes me think you get burned. But I... I Hey, it's a game. That's fine. I'm fine with this. Cause it's a game! I'm okay with this. That'd be really annoying if every time you had to like take a weapon out, you had to spend 30 minutes relighting your torch. No bueno. What is this? That looks spiky. I don't want to touch that. I want to go up there and do a map. <laughs> I feel like we'd get the whole damn island. And I'm okay with that. Ooh. So when I did my, uh, my V mode, it lit, that lit up. That's cool. Let's see what this is. Not that we needed to use that anyway. I mean, look at the freaking sheen on this thing. Faces of all the highest ones were carved in stone, and the golden age lasted for many centuries. Song of the Golden Age. Hmm. Okay. Oh, this is a path. This looks like a path. Gathering level two, we'll take it. Hmm. Oh, this takes us to the scaffolding stuff that we saw earlier from the ground. Is this like Legacy Rust? Um, this game does have a lot of things that are similar to Rust as another survival game. 
but this is a single player adventure game. So I think there's like a bunch of different islands. You can build bases. The islands have different like gimmicks to them. You sail between them. Uh, it's it's definitely kind of like a you know there's a story to it. You have a goal of how of finding the uh, you. This thing is gonna kill me. Stuff like that. This thing is actually gonna destroy me. So yeah, is it kind of like the long dark? Uh, sort of. It's kind of like the long dark um, story mode. Yeah. Yes. Well, it looks like they were cutting out ahead here and they didn't finish. Huh. Uh, where does this go? Nowhere, I guess. Well, we know where to come when we need more rocks. What's the game called? Survival Fountain of Youth. It just came into early access earlier this year. And they just released a big update with like a new ship, farming, guns, all sorts of stuff. It's still very much in development. By the way, quick reminder, even if you are not interested in picking it up now, because it's not done, which is totally fine. A lot of people feel that way. Um, make sure to wishlist it, and then you'll get emails and stuff when uh, the updates happen. And when it, when it inevitably releases as well. So wishlisting like this or any game that you see on Steam, especially from indie de uh, devs, is a great way to support this, the game and the company without spending a penny. Is this retail? Uh, this is not 1.0. This is, this is still early access. Jerk. Headshot. Mm -hmm. Also, I gotta say, if there's really, like... Hold on, you know what? Good time to do this. Um... Where's that trailer? Do, 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 do. I ran this once at the beginning and I gotta run it one more time. So we'll just do it now. I think this talks about the features in the game. So, uh, there we go. There it is. In reaping the harvest. Boop. In, in reaping the harvest. The latest update for Survival Fountain of Youth, we're introducing three new islands. One of those is the perfect location to establish your new home. Silver Island is a vast, lush paradise, providing the perfect setting for a well-deserved moment of peace. With this so update, many we are... Dude. That's so many crafting things. Oh my god, dude. There's like 15 crafting engines just like everywhere in that. That's kind of nutty. Farming. After moving from one island to another, you might want to settle for once and set up your crops. We've bolstered your arsenal with added firepower to protect your hard-earned piece of paradise. Armed with these bullets, you are now ready to face the most formidable challenges in reaping the harvest. Surviving Sulphur Island is no easy feat. You'll need a gas mask to protect yourself from its poison. Will you risk the journey to get gunpowder? Oh, that's how you get gunpowder. Okay. Find your way through Crocodile Island's labyrinth to reveal the next steps guiding you towards the Fountain of Youth. The Stormbreaker, the latest craftable ship. Engineered to conquer storms, furnished with crafting machines and ample storage for resources, it's your ultimate floating base. But there's more on the horizon. Stay tuned for monthly updates in Survival Fountain of Youth. Play 
with now, just the size of the first island, it seems it seems like you could get a lot of time out of this game if you kind of devoted to exploring all the islands and going everywhere and do that kind of thing. So, kind of wild. Seems ambitious. I think most of the islands are already in. Like, just this island alone is gigantic. A stone pickaxe? Don't take that. Oh, God. I wish I'd make right-click use and then, like, control. Yeah, right-click should definitely be use. The amount of times I've accidentally done that. Okay. Um... How much are these? Are these heavy? Huh? Yeah, we'll drop, we'll drop Hurt. Okay. Hurt. I spent 30 to 40 hours in the demo and have 20 hours in this version just on Island 1. Damn. There you go, dude. From Magdalena. Am I crouching? No, I'm not. I'm just really fat. Super fat with items and goods. All right, let's keep moving up. How's performance? Performance has been fine. Mm -hmm. Granted, I am on a supercomputer, but yeah. Performance is not an issue so far. Thank you, Kleinix. Appreciate that, buddy. More squapians. Oh, a cave. Mm -hmm. Hydration time. Thanks, Greg. Hydrate, homies. Oh. Ocotillo seeds. I guess that's for the farming. You've learned a new way to open up the next region. Oh, that is definitely a body. It's definitely like an explorer's body. Hmm. I thought we were the first out here. A map with blurred inscriptions in Spanish. The site of some kind of camp is marked here. It looks like the Spaniards were already here long before us. Dead Spaniards, man. Interesting. Uh, fever, not sure yet. Oh, this stuff. <clears throat> oh, yeah, we could probably drop the old porch, right? See ya. Whoa. There's definitely something on that island. It looks like a uh, fire. 
What in the heck is this? This collection of buildings resembles an ancient observatory. It looks like the astrologer watched the sky from several different locations and marked the coordinates of the stars using the observatory arches located on the island. Nani. Oh yeah, there's one right there. supposed to do this? Oh. Oh no, it's mine. It's my thing. There's something up there. How do we get up there? Oh. The song of the birds. There was no safer path in the sea than the one shown by the wise men from the tribes of the birds. Song of the Burbs. Bird potion. Strength of the bird. Temporarily provides the ability to see animals through obstacles. In. <laughs> Concentration mode. What are you doing? Oh, there's another potion right there. Oh, living water? Hell yeah, that's big. Mm -mm. So is this kind of like Arc Atlas plus Raft Subnautica? Uh, it's, it's a survival crafting game, similar to all those games you just mentioned. I would say most mostly this is like an older green hell uh, with more of a focus kind of on large-scale exploration with, like, uh, sea and, and navigation stuff. It, it's, it's a survival builder crafter for sure, but it's, it's kind of combining a lot of different cool elements from a lot of other games we've seen and kind of putting a dash of its own stuff in there, too. Did that wind put this out? No. That's cool. I think we got all the big stuff. So, oh, dude, I don't have charcoal on me, do I? Can I build a fire? Uh, yes. There's still a peak of this mountain to get to, which is kind of fun. Banana. Oranges. Wild chicken. Yeah, I like the idea of flexible branches. I wonder what that is. I like the idea of getting a bunch of wood, getting a bunch of... Um, charcoal and then just like running around the outside of the island like stopping every so often just to make maps or going to high points and making them and stuff nearby that's fun how cool oh sea toilets pretty too can we see the other spots I think this is the directions of one so I think this one is the one we can see right there can kind of see it right there and that would mean that this one is maybe there 
maybe there? Somewhere along here is probably that one, and then this one is... Maybe there? Probably kind of obscured by the trees. There's some big trees there. Yeah. What happens when you die? I don't know. Oh my god, I made it down the hill. <laughs> Wait. Ah, there it is. Okay. Fainting. Cause. Fall damage. Respawn at the nearest resting place. 91 items will remain where I fainted. Maxed health reduced. Faints until death. Six. Use living water to restore max health. So we're playing on the difficulty where we can faint six times. And then when we're done, when we fainted six times, the game ends. Which is the middle difficulty. The hardcore difficulty is one death. And then the chorus difficulty, love the name, is uh, unlimited deaths. So, ooh. So that's the Island of Hope in the bird region. Oh, wow. To go on expedition into this region, you need to be at the helm of the ship and have one of the following sets of items. A clue from a surviving member, five pieces of the map, or learn the blueprint for a better ship. Oh. 15 for this region. 10 for this. So you have to continually build better ships to, to explore more stuff. How cool. Guys, this has been fun. I want to give a big thanks again to our friends at Twin Sails Interactive for taking a look at this game. This again is Survival Fountain of Youth. Uh, this is the, I think, one of the first or one of the biggest updates they've done so far. It, this game released in April. It does have more to go. And I can safely say that we will probably be doing a big playthrough of this game when it's done or down the road. This has a lot of very cool stuff in it. It clearly has a lot of um, what we love to see in games like this. So if you want more information on this game or you want to pick it up yourself, there's a link in the survival command that you can click on. And uh, yeah, big thanks again to the devs. This was fun. This was fun. All right, friends. Uh, I've got a few meetings I got to do this afternoon. And then I also will be back this evening for more hardcore WoW. Hope to see you for that. And I will see you folks later. I'm going to go ahead and leave you with Pasco for the rest of the day. If you want to watch the, uh, the Yakuza 0 game that I very rudely left you on a cliffhanger for. And we will go from there. So thanks for being here. Again, big shout out and thank you to the developers. And I will see you folks later for more fun and games. Bye-bye.